Hello Internet, welcome back. Today we're looking at uh, Bloodstain, Curse of the Moon. This is actually the uh, prequel, pro, uh, the prologue game to the to the critically acclaimed Bloodstained, I forget the subtitle for that one, but it was the 3D one, where basically you play as a girl. This one, <laughs> yeah, I have so many of these. Yeah, I have so many of these. I'm gonna start a new game. Mm, oh, yes, right. This is the one where uh, we play as Zangetsu in order to save guns at Nightmare the Ultimate. Yeah, we're gonna start out with uh, normal. Going with the veteran style. So, yeah, Bloodstained. Castlevania esque. Um, rom romanticized game, or at least like a homage game. That basically Konami just didn't want to make anymore because reasons, you know. And it's Konami, so what? So what do you expect? There was there was once a man who who had been given the moon's curse by demons. That man was Zan Getsu, wrapped in crimson, like, wrapped wrapped in crimson garb, garb, garb with eyes like fire. He relentlessly pursued pursued the demons who cursed him. As he journeyed from one pit of darkness to another, he would stop at nothing until he struck down every last demon in his path. One night, he sensed the looming presence of the uh, of a great demon. He swore to eradicate all all demons, no matter how much of a threat 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 they posed. Bathed in in, uh, in moonlight, he cried out as he drew his sword, which consumed the darkness from within uh, within its wretched steel. On that night, either say either the demons or the moon itself self would feel the wrath of his blade. That is some intense stuff, I swear. <laughs> but yeah, Curse of Darkness, um, it's like uh, Curse of Curse of the Moon is one of those games that I'm like, well, yeah, it's supposed to pay homage to Castlevania, like from only like from the classic ones, from how it plays and everything, and. Even in this scene here, like, you know, like, makes you think of Castlevania One. You know, every like, every like, every like, like every like everything about it. All the say all the way down to it to, to to his music and everything. Oh, I gotta remember the controls. So. Oh yeah, why why was my special? Or triangle in this case. I'm playing on a PlayStation con controller, but yeah, like this is supposed to be homage to those, and it's like, it's like uh, Konami really didn't want to make another Castlevania game for some odd, uh, for some odd reason. Oh god. But from how this looks, how it from from, uh, no, you don't. There is a way like to skip past that to where like that if you uh. If you just let the ghost hit, hit you and whatever, it's, it's a secret thing over here. What does this do? Oh, that's my, uh... Supposed to be the, uh... <laughs> the, um, holy water. The cool thing about this game is that it actually, actually I believe it actually plays a bit, a bit more to, uh, Castlevania 3. Where that there are alternate paths and everything, and alternate, uh, oh, hey, thank you there, friendly skeleton. Skeleton. It seems I can use self weapons. Push, push the Y button. However, that would would require weapon points. Uh, if I destroy lamps, I can find magic potions to restore my weapon points. I also understand that different colored lamps, lamps contain various sub weapons. I can use you. So yeah, so I get different sub weapons de de uh, depending on the uh, color of the lamp. Yellow lamps are. For special, or at least like fly, like for weapon points. So yeah, it's kind of cool, actually. Onto this train to see what's going on. But yeah, Cars of the Moon. I believe that this is supposed to be a prequel story for the main game, because the say say because the actual 3D game that 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 plays a little bit more to the. Uh, uh, all right, got the chain, but all right. But uh, it's supposed to, so it's supposed to be sort of like a prequel thing in terms of like or just like that like 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 that's the actual story and this is like just a little story where it's like okay this is what Zangetsu is doing and everything and he needs to save himself and everything. <laughs> wow. Yeah, 
Yeah, I have a problem with those ghosts. Like, 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 as they come out of nowhere. Oh, Jesus. Don't need the holy water for that, but I most definitely can just take. Can I go for it? Nah. No, oh, I don't like that. <laughs> that doesn't sound like just that friendly skeleton. Hmm. <laughs> this. This is kind of look to say like the odd thing is is that this kind of plays a bit like sort of like 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 the original T like T I'll go with the chain. It plays it plays sort of like the original T M N T a long man with everything else. Okay. Okay, so this is a living train that just ugh. Out of weapon points. I like to say I like these old bosses. Like, like they're not that difficult to fight, really. If you really know like what you like, what you're doing. But I don't have any more weapon points. And... Oh God. Taking you down, man. Like, I like to say, I like the simplicity of it because it kind of reminds me a little bit of one, two, three, four. So I can get a maximum of five hits in be, 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 before it turns into a problem. I don't think those like like hit the same spot over and over and over again. Okay, one. Two. Oh, nice. Beat him. Thank you for that. Good thing like that that didn't uh, kill me because I, <laughs> I have forgotten about that. But yeah, that's the spirit like that came out of his body. So I'm assuming like like that the like these are also people who fell under the curse of the curse of the moon. And then what do we have here? Okay, thank you for saving me. Say that was uh, was say was it say was it the demon's power you used to seal that beast? Say say you're a shard binder, the power that can summon forth 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 demons of will. I cannot allow that. Wait, wait, is it true that I am a say it is true that I am a shard 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 binder? However, I have sworn to be ever righteous in my command command of this power. I refuse to use it for evil. They show me proof of that determination in, in battle. Miriam. Now, Miriam, I believe she is the main character of the second game, or she's the character in which that you use the most. I can use Eleanor to, sw to switch characters, and she has a whip. She has a whip, she can high jump, and she can slide. Everything. You know, the crazy thing is, though, that I find really interesting about, about this game, though, is the fact that when you save your quote unquote companions, you can actually kill them to take their spirits and get um, other ab abilities and uh, skills. Yeah, but like when I was saying like that this is kind of like a sort of like a TMNT thing, you can actually like uh, swap out your character like you swap the character like when they're doing so like when they get hurt you know but, but the crazy thing is is that like when I play this with Zangetsu because he actually has more more health oh, boy. you guys make make my job so easy yeah I can like just sort of like just just skip ahead Cause if I just just was on Getsu, I couldn't get up there. Using her, she got a high jump. I think though, like if I would have killed her, like because each member like that you kill, like like Zangetsu actually gets a 
he gets another up ability. And I think for her, it was like double jump or something like that. I like that dagger. I think the other one's a bit more useful. I don't like these. Dead up. Oh, Christ. I'm gonna try my best to get past the second level. Well, he does attack faster. But now I have a problem. Yeah, it's not really a problem. Yeah, it was a problem. Oh, boy. Gotta try again! Because I need her super jump because she's a fat, because she has a better jump than what he does. I got here, you giant, giant frogs. Hopefully she has her upward daggers. Yeah, she got them. So they share weapon. Yeah, yeah, they do. Oh, nice! I got another, another life anyway. Solves that 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 problem. Like just be quick and yeah. Like this is actually like kind of tricky. Like 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 when you're only playing as Zangetsu. Like even with his like additional skills skills and everything, because I think there's a trophy for that. Like like you have to kill your entire like party and then you. Then you get Super Zangetsu. Nah, stupid bats. Nah, dumb bats. And hey, Zangetsu, like, you're not that difficult to deal with. Just gotta get the right angle. Killed myself. Oh my god. I am so rusty with this. Oh man, the rust is there. Man, it's not that bad. I'm still making good, good uh, progress through the, through the levels. There you go. Her weapon's a little bit better for that. Now, some spots in this game are only accessible with like specific characters. Like only like not not only specific things are because again, like this because like because you can try playing this with, as uh, as only Zangetsu, right? But the problem with that is is that is that like there are some areas that you just can't go to. And also, the second level is ba is basically built is built for Miriam. Because of her extra range and all that stuff, like like the game is built built for her. Now, if I was playing this with Zangetsu, I couldn't get that because he doesn't have the ability to slide. Oh. <laughs> That axe is super handy, though. 
No! Yeah, I'll try out this item. You don't go away. Yeah, having 30 like weapon points like makes a big difference. Oh boy. Oh, what do we have here? Super Evil Turtle? boomerang effect on that. I tried to dodge it. <laughs> I tried to dodge it. Oh boy. Hey, did pretty good. Now I could do the third level, as this is our magic user and alchemist. You have to say that I would be defeated by a demon. I have been thoroughly humiliated. I am Alfred, the alchemist. Alchemist, you use demons to fulfill your, your worldly desires. Every achievement required requires a fair exchange. Even using demons, um, a demon is some, say, sometimes necessary. You have your own goals, correct? My power may be of use, use, use to even you. Your existence is, is unsettling to me. But say, but say, but your skills are not, not, not without value. I'll say, I'll leave your head, head where it is for now. Alfred has become your ally. Now that I have three allies, <laughs> and I've done this pretty, pre pretty well, he can hit you with his uh, staff, and also he can use magic. He gets very, very, very specific magic. Like he's not a good, good attacker. But tag, but like the fire wheel he has is really good. But, but I don't want to keep this going on for too long. So I am, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I'll catch you guys on the next John Grave show. I'm out. Peace.